Doctor Who, Robot, the first story of the fourth Doctor, is written by Terence Dix and starring Tom Baker, Elizabeth Sladen, Ian Martyr, Nicholas Courtney and John Levine. So Barry Letts and Terence Dix stayed for the first season, 12 story, Robot, but then taken over by Robert Holmes as a script editor and Philip Hinchcliffe as the producer for second story. So John Pertwee left, and in terms of finding the cast to play the fourth Doctor, the script was written for older Doctor, similar age to William Hartnell, and there's few actors that can search for the role, but it's either that they're unsuitable or unavailable or didn't want to, which are Graham Crowden, Michael Bentine, Bernard Cribbins, Jim Dale, and Fulton Mackey. Richard Hearn was considered for the role as the fourth Doctor, but because he was too known as the Mr. Pastry, he wasn't suitable, so eventually the role went for Tom Baker, who was in big films like Nicholas and Alexandra and The Vault of Horror. Barry Letts saw Tom Baker in The Golden Voyage of Sinbad, and while well, Tom got the role, he's wanting to do something amazing and heroic for his life. Sadly, his teacher and priest said that he's nothing, and look at him now. Tom said there was no acting involved, he was just being himself, and it's like Jeff Goldblum in Thor the Ragnarok, because he was being Jeff Goldblum, and they did an amazing job. I heard about his scarf being knitted long by accident, but they kept it in, and definitely makes his costume look so iconic. I mean, if you see anyone like that, we'd know who it is. So Terrence Dix took the inspiration from the King Kong for this story, and creates the elements similar to Spearhead from Space, where after the Doctor regenerates, he goes to hospital room and escapes in his pyjamas, then changes his clothes, looking at the mirror with Unit investigating something, which I do think it's a great Doctor opener. The story is to be the only season 12 to her set in Earth, with Unit taking the inspiration from the Quatermass experiment. Robot is the first Doctor Who story to have its location material shot entirely on videotape using outside broadcasting facilities. So after the events of Planet of the Spiders, Third Doctor turning into Fourth Doctor, his first word is typical Centauran attitude. He goes on the events where him and Sarah Jane first met and the invasion of dinosaurs. So Brigadier summoned Harry Sullivan to take the Doctor to sick bay. Meanwhile, a mysterious robot taking guards and a dog out breaking into weapon research center to build a disintegrator gun. The way they edit it is well done. It makes it scary. While Brigadier tells Sarah Jane about the missing part of Disintegrator Gun, the Doctor in his pyjamas goes in the lab, took the TARDIS key out of his shoe, and about to go inside, but Harry came in. And this is an amusing scene, and very iconic, where they say who's a Doctor and who's the Doctor. Not fit, not fit, of course I'm fit, all systems go! Sick. It's pretty badass when the Doctor smashed the bricks with his hands, and it was funny with the skipping rope scene. <laughs> so after that, the Brigadier and Sarah Jane find Harry in the cupboard and stop the Doctor from going away. I love the bit where he's changing his clothes, it's so funny. First he came out as a Viking, then a King, then Piero, and then his iconic outfit with his long scarf, like I'm wearing right now. Fantastic outfit. Another funny bit is where the Doctor found a flattened dandelion and blew the dust of it on Brigadier's face. <laughs> So while the Doctor, Brigadier and Harry are investigating, Sarah Jane pays a visit to Think Tank to see Miss Winters and Jellico. So after looking around, Sarah Jane sneaks back in and we get an intense cliffhanger where the K-1 robot was coming towards her. So Miss Winters revealed it was a joke and decided to demonstrate it by attempted murder, getting K-1 robot to kill her, but it hesitated. So Sarah Jane left to tell the Brigadier, so while Miss Winters and Jellico fixing the robot and telling it to kill Joseph Chambers, the unit team went to see Professor Kettlewell to find out more about the robots that he created. So K-1 robot kills Joseph and the Doctor and Brigadier questions Miss Winters for a bit. After they return to HQ, the Doctor speaks to Kettlewell on the phone, asking him to go and see him, just before Miss Winters and Jellico captured him. So the Doctor left a note to Sarah Jane and Sergeant Benton went to find him. While the Doctor is about to get killed by K-1 in Kettlewell's house, I think Tom Baker as the fourth Doctor is amazing. Fantastic performance, style and everything. What can I say that hasn't been said already? And I can see why a lot of people choose him as their favourite. And this is actually the first time I saw Tom Baker. I haven't really watched Share the Classic era at the time. Because um, I was like... 
that is the Doctor, and uh, I didn't like him at first because I thought he was too silly and too childish, and I'm like, nah, that is not the Doctor. <laughs> but now we're uh, learning more about the Doctor Who and, and also the classic era and all the previous incarnations. Uh, I do love Tom Baker as the Doctor. I think, like I said, he's amazing. I do love Elizabeth Sladen as Sarah Jane Smith. She's independent, likeable, and kicks ass. Ian Martyr as Harry Sullivan is canny. I like the additional companion. And yes, I think Ian would make a great James Bond. As Sarah Jane called him that. I do love Nicholas Courtney and John Levine as Brigadier Lethbridge Stewart and Sergeant Benton. Well, RSM Benton. They're likeable and entertaining. Patricia Maynard played Hilda Winters, who's the leader of the Scientific Reform Society, who plans to blackmail the world's government using K-1 to create disintegrated gun and codes for the nuclear missiles. What a great villain. Alec Lindstedt played Arnold Jellicoe, Miss Winters' assistant. Edward Burnham played Professor Jeremiah P. Ketterwell a scientist who created K-1 Robot, who also played Professor Watkins in The Invasion. The casts did an excellent job. I understand they did their best with the effects and, and I appreciate it. It isn't terrible and the music by Dudley Simpson again is fantastic. I do love the design of K-1 Robot. I thought it looked really cool. Michael Gergareff did a great job as well. So Sarah Jane came in just in time to stop the robot, Benton was shooting at it. We get an epic scene where the unit soldiers are shooting at the robot. So Catwell was found in the cupboard, so he got taken to HQ. As Sarah Jane and Professor Catwell plans to go to the meeting. I like how she's been rebel to Benton. Obviously Brigadier and the Doctor is furious, so they went after them. During the meeting, Miss Winters shows the K-1 robot, which shocked the audience. And I do love the Doctor's scene on the stage where he's amusing the audience. A little dance, perhaps? Not just a little dance? Anyone for cards? Don't just stand there, you idiots! Get him! <laughs> oh, it's so funny. <laughs> of the audience. <laughs> <laughs> say, haven't we met somewhere before? Please. <laughs> so after the doctor gets restrained, unit breaks in. Sarah Jane and Professor Ketwell gets taken away with K1 by Miss Winters. As Harry phoned Brigadier while undercover, he gets caught and gets tied up with Sarah Jane. So eventually, as the Doctor and Unit arrived outside the bunker, Miss Winters and Brigadier orders each other to surrender. So Unit uses grenades and the Doctor using his sonic screwdriver to blow up the traps. After trying to get the door open, K-1 came out with a disintegrator gun. It disintegrated a soldier, an army tank, so it ordered them to leave or destroy them all. Go! Go now! Or I will destroy you all! This is like a hard level of a video game, if you ask me. While Professor Catwell is changing his mind about the countdown, Sarah Jane and Harry got themselves free. While K-1 is distracted, the Doctor managed to finish the locks. So Sarah Jane, Harry and Catwell came out, Sarah Jane tried to stop it. Professor Catwell got himself disintegrated by K-1 and it passed out because it killed its creator. So after Miss Winters and everyone working there survived are arrested, K-1 is gone along with Sarah Jane and they're inside the bunker. So Sarah Jane tells the Doctor what he knows about the metal of a robot, which gave the Doctor an idea to stop the robot. So him and Harry went down to Catwell's lab. Meanwhile, we have a great King Kong inspiration after when Brigadier accidentally grew K-1 bigger with a disintegrated gun. Thought they don't need the Doctor for a change, but obviously he's wrong. It picked Sarah Jane up and put her on the roof. We get an epic shooting scene again. The bit where K-1 standing on a soldier looks pretty lethal as hell. Imagine what his corpse would look like if it was a higher rating. Ugh. So the Doctor and Harry came back with a can of virus and splattered a K-1 and it shrank to death and dissolved away. So in the end, the unit team are invited to Buckingham Palace. The Doctor invites Sarah Jane and Harry into the TARDIS with a couple of famous lines like, no point being a grown up if you can't be childish sometimes. That's very true. And would you like a jelly baby? Mm, lime's my favourite. So after going inside the TARDIS and disappeared away, and Brigadier's like, I'll have to tell him that the Doctor will be a little late. So yeah, that's Robot. Great start for the fourth Doctor. I do like the King Kong inspiration. What did you guys think of this serial? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks people as always for watching and see you in the next video.